Okay, 300 series has some new exciting updates from March 2025 onwards. We've got a new fuse box in here, new style. In the, this is the VX model 300 series. A little bit different to the uh, 2021 onwards models. We're going to install a low voltage disconnect system so when you run a fridge plug or something like that in the boot you're not going to uh, have to worry about flattening your starting battery so here we go first we're just gonna take the fuse box off of its original mounting by undoing these two bolts Keep these bolts aside so that we can put it back together. Once you've got the fuse box out, unclip these tabs just like this with a screwdriver. It's three clips. Also a locking tab with a smaller screwdriver. And then the cover comes off like so. Okay, so we've got to put um, some bits and pieces together when you get the kit. Starting with putting these on, protection covers. These go on a specific way, so make sure you're getting these as we're displaying them in the video. Okay, now it's ready to fit. So in behind the fuse box there is a nice silver shiny bolt, we've got to take that out and then our Victron low voltage disconnect will fit up to that bolt. Once installed it should look like this and then the factory fuse box will go in front of it. So I'll show you how to put the connections into the factory fuse box. Next thing we're going to do is remove this power back door fuse. It's a 30 amp. We're going to push out the back of the connection just like that. Connect it in with our pin bit of heat shrink, heat that up. Our pin goes into a completely different spot, which is this one on the bottom left. Next we're going to peel back this blue heat shrink and connect this pin right alongside of the one we've just done. Until it clicks, nice and snug. You give them a little tug and they will not pull back out. Gonna put a 30 amp fuse. We've just put those two pins to make those connections live. Next we're going to take this white connector with the green heat shrink, make note of that green heat shrink. We're going to plug it into a main power connector on the back of the fuse box. Then we're going to plug the last two white connectors together and they both have blue heat shrink. Next we're going to tidy all this up, put the fuse box back together and reinstall it into the vehicle.
before you put the factory fuse box into the vehicle there is another step we're going to put this green connector into the Victron it came in the box with the Victron and it's got a ring terminal to go behind the bolt that you're about to screw the fuse box back on with just like this Last but not least, the cover goes back on. And the low voltage disconnect kit is fitted.